What's going on guys, Bob here back with some Bleach Online, so let's get into this. Today is going to be, well, the last day of the events because it ends in about an hour 20. And then we basically got a day, and then uh, tomorrow is going to be the new events. So when this video comes out, the next day is going to be the new events. So I will be making another video. We did finally make it to 109 as you can see up at the top. One more level to go and I can actually start getting a ton of stuff done. We can start leveling up now. Well sort of start leveling her up because I do have to get her up to 110 and then I can get the stars. Um, I can uh, actually level her to her final form. And what else are we going to be doing? Oh, we're going to be getting Ichigo, of course, which is going to be at 105. So I'm going to have to level him up as well. And what else are we getting done at 110? I forgot. There's probably some other stuff I do need to get done at 110. But... Uh, yeah, we're really, really close. I really wish I had enough to actually get up to 110 right now. But uh, yeah, it's going to take us a little bit of time. Hopefully we'll be able to get there probably sometime next month, depending. Like, I mean, it would be a lot faster if I were not able to use Vite. So without using Vite and stuff like that, it's a, a little bit harder to calculate how much experience you're going to be pulling in and how fast you're actually going to level. So I'm just gonna guess next month is probably when we're gonna hit 110. Maybe they'll have an ultimate BP sometime soon. Although I don't have enough, we're getting close to 4K. I do have a ton of the uh, stuff in the beauty game, which I haven't actually done. I need to spend like an hour or whatever and sit there and press the space bar for like an hour getting those done to actually build up my Vite. I have like at least close to like 200 plays or something like that in that so you can do the math how much vite i'm going to get back from that but uh that should help us get over 4k i'm not going to do it right now of course because yeah i just need to find like an hour or two out of uh like on the weekend or something and get that done just haven't had the time to actually get it done but i will get it done sooner or later but uh yeah we should be hitting 4k soon if i do happen to get the booting game done we should hit it a lot faster and then we'll start going for 5. I do want to hit 8k as fast as I can possibly get it. I know I'm spending some Vite here and there on like uh, the trial. Uh, some of the quests and stuff like that. The quests I'm only doing because they're the quests for level 109. So it's only like 20 Vite. It's really not that big a deal. I make 40 or 60. Yeah, because you buy 30. Yeah, 60 Vite a day. So... Spending 41 day is really not that big a deal. The only reason I'm spending is because it's 109. Uh, the daily one, the trial one, I usually try not to do those, but I do do them every once in a while because I do need to actually level up my treasures as well. So I do have to get those done at least a couple a week, maybe. It's only six vite, it, or is it nine? Six, six or nine? I can't remember, but it's only a little bit of vite. I know I should probably save it, but I do have to get those done at some point so it's not like if they have the ultimate BP next month I'm gonna have enough anyway it's gonna take a lot longer than that to actually save up another 4k Vite maybe even 9 or 10k Vite depending on uh, what I actually want to go for because if they have somebody for like 42k or 50 or however much they want to go to then I'm gonna have to save up enough Vite to do that but uh, for, yeah for the most part we're on our way to 110 which is really nice one level to go once we hit that we got new sets we got new characters we got upgrading characters we got a ton of stuff we can actually get done um as far as vite goes gonna take us uh, another like two months maybe three it, it all depends i mean it's gonna take a while to get 8k vite it doesn't matter if you're gaining like a ton of vite a day like buying five or six uh, things of Vite, it's still going to take you a while to get to 8,000, so yeah, we're going to be working towards that, but once we get that done and we actually get a really good uh, ultimate BP, I will be using that for Zanpakuto most likely. Um, we are also getting the soul stuff done as well, trying to get enough to actually pull off I don't know if I want to go with Yamamoto or Orihime. I mean, I feel Yamamoto is going to be a lot better, but I kind of don't need either one of them. 
I mean, I guess I could go for Yamamoto. I don't know if he's going to be better than my current Assaulter, though. That's the only problem I'm, I'm having currently, unless I want to give up Gein. Only have one assault or one assault, one support, and I have two assaulters, or actually three with my main. But yeah, I don't know how I want to do that. So either I'm gonna get cute Orihime, or I think it says Yamamoto. I don't know if they changed his name, but yeah. So those are my two choices. They have boxes and stuff like that as well, but most likely you're gonna grab a character. I'm halfway there. I should be able to get the other half. If I start spending more silver, although I do need silver for other stuff, I still need to get my Ryatsu up. Haven't even touched that at all. It's just everything takes Vite or Vite. What am I saying? Everything takes silver, so my Ryatsu hasn't gone up in like forever. I should already have it past like 60 or 70 by now, but uh, yeah, it just takes too much silver like the amount of silver you need for everything is insane especially they keep adding stuff that eats silver so like with the soul one silver uh the one we're about to do now we need a million silver a day so yeah everything takes silver and it's whether you want to level up this or that or you want to get a character you want to do this you want to do that so you do have to pick and choose what you want to do I do want to get the soul one done, pick one of those characters, maybe go for it again. And then uh, the other thing I want to do is get my Ryatsu up. I do want to get it to 60. That was my goal a while back. I just kind of got off track with uh, all the silver and stuff like that. So I think once I get a lot closer to 10k, I'll start doing my Ryatsu again and maybe get it up to... I probably won't hit 60, but getting up to maybe like 58 or 57 or something like that would be pretty cool. Um, getting the characters leveled, uh, advancing nail is going to be pretty good as well. And figuring out who I want to go with next on the coupons for um, the Waco Mundo. So we do have. Uh, like Kempachi's in there. Uh, I think the next one we unlock is Aizen, although the amount you're actually going to need is really insane. Even if you do get him, you're not going to be able to advance him unless you're VIP 6. And I don't plan on being VIP 6 unless they add in a double experience or like some way to get experience a lot faster when you're topping up because right now it's way way too expensive for VIP 6 I mean you're probably gonna get if you time it out right with uh, some of the events you can probably get some pretty good stuff if you do top up maybe like a couple thousand gold or whatever and get VIP 6 right away but uh, one thing they do need to add is the double experience for VIP I don't know why they don't have it it's like that's an easy way to make a ton because people want to top up during that time because it helps out a lot more especially if you're VIP zero and you have the double experience do 20 and you'll instantly hit VIP three or four so some people will be like oh, I can do that I can spare that much if uh, they have the double but yeah they haven't Put it in i don't know why they keep adding like new events stuff like that but uh that's one of the events they haven't added in hopefully we'll get it sometime this year if they don't ever add that in i have no idea what they're doing that's a really good way that's like on anime ninja that's when everyone tops up or used to top up i don't top up anymore but that's when i used to top up anytime they had that going on i would at least throw five ten or whatever i had at the time to get to VIP 6 because I never said I was gonna get to VIP 6 but uh, I ended up getting to VIP 6 and about halfway through in closing on uh, VIP 7 now so yeah it's pretty pretty crazy that uh, they don't add that in it's a real easy way to make a ton of money maybe they're already making a ton of money off of uh, topping up because I do see people top up every once in a while but um 
not as much as they used to because people have moved on, um, got bored of the game, stuff like that. So maybe if they did add that, a lot more people would consider it, especially the people that haven't topped up as of yet and they're VIP zero. Throw 20 and you're basically almost caught up to me in VIP levels and I spent way more. So I don't know. That's just a really good idea that they haven't actually did. I mean, they can make it their own spin. It doesn't have to be exactly double experience. Maybe kind of like the gold wheel. You spin it and you gain maybe double, maybe a little bit more experience or something. They need to do something though with the uh, topping up because yeah, there's no way I'm going to drop the amount I need to actually get up to VIP six so yeah that's pretty much it there's vip or vip what am i saying now there is level 109 hopefully we get to 110 pretty soon but that's gonna be about it for this one and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow